For years, we thought interstellar visitors were just rare, natural objects, ice and rock drifting between stars. But what if one of them wasn't drifting? What if it was being steered? There's something in our solar system that's not what we thought it was. It's called 3 Atlas, the third interstellar object we've ever found. And it's acting in ways that no natural object should. Its path is too exact, its energy is too controlled, and its behavior seems too smart. When the James Webb Space Telescope looked at this traveler, the result surprised everyone in science. This wasn't just another comet. The telescope showed an object that breaks the laws of physics, something that looks built, not natural. It's about the size of Manhattan, weighs over 72 trillion pounds, and has a jet of gas that points toward the sun, not away from it. Every new look we take makes it even more confusing. It doesn't have the same chemicals as any comet we know. It bends light in a weird way. And its surface acts like it's made of materials that can change radiation. Now, its path lines up perfectly with the WOW signal, that strange radio message from 1977. This isn't just chance, it seems like there's a reason for it. We used to think the idea that we were being watched was just a fantasy. But as 3 Atlas gets closer to the Sun, the James Webb Telescope has confirmed what we feared all along, this object isn't just a visitor, it's designed. And if that's true, then the question isn't what is it, but why is it here? When astronomers first tracked 3 Atlas, they expected the usual chaotic path of an interstellar object, wild and unpredictable. But it wasn't that way at all. It was too perfect, following the same plane as the planets. Statistically, this is very unlikely to happen by chance. Objects from other star systems don't usually follow these rules. Yet, 3 Atlas came in like it knew exactly where it was going, sliding into the ecliptic like a spaceship. Its orbital tilt was just 5 degrees, almost exactly in line with the Sun's equator. To scientists, that was the first sign that something was different. At first, researchers tried to explain it away. But then the details kept adding up. 3 Atlas wasn't just aligned, it was acting like it was navigating. Every time telescopes checked its path, it stayed strangely steady, without the chaos you'd expect from a comet. Its movement wasn't just exact, it was controlled. This made people who study orbits worried. Natural objects are controlled by gravity, they don't choose their paths. But 3 Atlas seemed to be following a plan, passing near Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, planets that have a strong gravitational pull. Each flyby looked like a plan, as if 3 Atlas was checking out the planet's orbits. What was even more strange was its speed. The object kept a very steady speed throughout its trip, hardly changing at all. This suggests something was keeping it on course. Natural objects don't do that. Spacecraft do. Scientists started to say quietly that this wasn't just a random visitor. The chances of an interstellar object lining up this perfectly with our solar system and keeping such a planned path were basically zero. The data wasn't describing a rock, it described a mission. Still, official statements didn't say that. Agencies called it unusual or under investigation. But in private, teams admitted that 3 Atlas was flying like it had a purpose. Every new measurement showed the same thing, this object wasn't just in the solar system, it was moving through it with a precision that no comet should have. And for many astronomers, that was both exciting and scary. If 3 Atlas had chosen this path, then maybe it had been here before. Once 3 Atlas was confirmed as an interstellar visitor, everyone looked to the James Webb Space Telescope. Its instruments can see through cosmic dust and find out what distant worlds are made of. Scientists expected to find the usual ice and dust of a comet from another system. Instead, the telescope found something that shouldn't exist. The object was too big, too organized, and too structured to be natural. At over 3 kilometers across and weighing 72 trillion pounds, 3 Atlas was much bigger than any other interstellar object we've seen. It wasn't just a fragment, it was a huge object moving with purpose. But the telescope found something even more shocking, 
a jet of gas coming from the object. But instead of pointing away from the sun, it was aimed right at it. This made no sense. Comets usually release gases as they heat up, pushing material away from the sun. But 3 Atlas's emission was the opposite. The team tried to make sense of it, but when the telescope looked again, the same thing was happening. The jet wasn't random or weak. It was exact, like a directed exhaust. To keep that shape, the object would need a mechanism, an energy source controlling pressure and temperature. In other words, propulsion. That word shocked the research community. No natural process could make a jet like that. The telescope also showed that the gases in the jet weren't ordinary. They were mostly carbon dioxide and nickel, with almost no water. This was unlike any comet we know. The lack of water was the final proof that it wasn't natural. Every comet has lots of frozen water. But three atlas seemed to be made of something else, something that could resist heat, absorb energy, and release gases in a controlled way. Its metallic makeup suggested it was made, not natural. When these findings were reported, people didn't believe them. But the data was clear. The James Webb Telescope had captured an object that broke the rules of comets, something that could control its movement and survive intense radiation. The report didn't say it was artificial, but everyone saw it. The telescope hadn't just found another rock, it had found evidence of design. And as the light from three atlas reached the telescope, it was clear that this wasn't a mistake of nature. It was a machine acting with purpose. When the James Webb Space Telescope finished its first look at three atlas, scientists thought it would be small. But the telescope showed that it was huge, bigger than anything that should be drifting through space. It was more than 3 kilometers across and weighed over 72 trillion pounds. To understand how big that is, 3 Atlas is thousands of times bigger than the other interstellar objects we've found. It wasn't just a small piece, it was a mountain moving through the solar system. Its size raised questions about how it could even exist. Natural interstellar objects are usually small and broken, from collisions or dying stars. They're not strong enough to survive in space for millions of years. Yet 3 Atlas was complete, with no signs of breaking apart. It wasn't losing material like a comet. Its structure was strong and even. The telescope's readings showed that it had an almost impossible level of strength, like it was reinforced inside. Its brightness didn't change much as it rotated, meaning it was symmetrical. Most comets tumble around, making flashes of light. But 3 Atlas was steady, like it was engineered. This made it statistically impossible for it to be a random object. Based on models, an object that size would have been hit many times over millions of years, damaging its surface. But the telescope showed no major damage. It was smooth and strong, like it was built to last. 3 Atlas wasn't just big, it was too big to be an accident. A natural object that large shouldn't exist, or it shouldn't move with such control. Yet it was here, ignoring the laws of nature. The universe had revealed something huge, a visitor that might have been built to find us. For years, a mysterious event has puzzled astronomers, a radio pulse detected in 1977. It lasted 72 seconds, had an artificial frequency, and then disappeared. The astronomer who found it wrote WOW next to it. Since then, the WOW signal has been the best candidate for a message from aliens. But there was one problem, no one knew where it came from. Until now. When researchers tracked three atlases path, they realized that it came from almost the same direction as the WOW signal. It was within 9 degrees of the same spot. That's very close in space. At first, scientists thought it was a coincidence, but the more they looked, the less random it seemed. The chance of an interstellar object coming from that exact area, where we detected a possible alien message, was less than 1%. It was statistically impossible to ignore. This raised a big question, what if the WOW signal wasn't random, but a beacon, and 3 Atlas was its source? The timeline worked well. 
The WOW signal came 48 years before we found three atlas. If the object had been traveling toward us since then, it would have been just out of our range when the signal reached Earth. That means the signal could have been a message sent in advance, announcing its arrival. What's even more strange is the nature of both the signal and the object. The WOW signal was focused and structured, traits that no natural source has ever shown. And 3 Atlas has behavior and design that are also unnatural, controlled movement, engineered materials, and directed energy. Together, they form a pattern that's too specific to ignore. Experts began to look at the WOW data again, comparing its patterns to 3 Atlas's speed and angle. The results were surprising. The 1977 pulse, when projected back in time, lined up perfectly with the area where 3 Atlas must have started its trip. It was as if the object had come from the same place as the signal, following its own echo. Skeptics said it was just chance, but for many, the alignment was too exact. The chances of both events sharing such precise locations were about 1 in 200. To scientists, that's huge. It's as if the universe left clues, a radio whisper in 1977, and then an object from the same area entering our solar system decades later. If 3 Atlas and the WOW signal are connected, then we may have just witnessed a conversation that started long ago. And if that's the case, the question isn't whether we're being watched, it's whether we were invited. As 3 Atlas continued its trip across the solar system, scientists noticed its movement was very deliberate. Its path wasn't random, it was a planned route that brought it near multiple planets, one after another, like a survey. This raised a bold theory, what if 3 Atlas wasn't just visiting? What if it was deploying something? The idea is that 3 Atlas might be a reconnaissance vehicle, a probe disguised as a comet, using the chaos of space to hide its purpose. And its planetary flybys weren't random they were opportunities to collect data or release smaller devices. The shape of its path supported this idea. Instead of traveling in the same direction as the planets, three Atlas moved against the flow of the solar system. That made physicists think. Going against the flow takes a lot of energy, and no comet should be able to do that. Yet three Atlas seemed to do it easily. Simulations showed that each planetary encounter was perfectly set up to use the planet's gravity to adjust its course just enough to cross the orbits of key planets. To do that naturally would be very unlikely. It was calculated. The pattern reminded some of the story of the Trojan horse. Just as the Greeks hid soldiers inside a wooden horse to get inside Troy, some wondered if 3 Atlas was using its disguise to conceal technology. After all, it acted like a comet, reflecting light and releasing gas. But its internal makeup and its control suggested that the disguise might be hiding something else. What if, during each planetary pass, 3 Atlas was releasing tiny probes designed to spread across the solar system, orbiting planets or moons undetected? With today's technology, we could already build probes small enough to go unnoticed. A civilization that's much more advanced could do it perfectly. Such devices could stay hidden for a long time, monitoring radiation and magnetic fields. Skeptics said the theory was science fiction, but they couldn't deny how exact the object's route was. Its orbit wasn't random, it was efficient. Each planetary encounter fit into a mathematical pattern designed for maximum data. One researcher said, if 3 Atlas is natural, it's the luckiest rock in the universe. If it isn't, then we're looking at a probe executing a reconnaissance mission right in front of us. The idea that this object might be an observer forced scientists to rethink everything about its purpose. Its path didn't look like it was trying to escape, it looked intelligent. And if that was true, then 3 Atlas wasn't the first step of contact, it was the Trojan horse already inside our gates. Every orbit has a climax, the moment when an object gets closest to the sun, absorbing its energy and revealing its secrets. For 3 Atlas, that moment is coming. Astronomers call it perihelion, and it will happen on October 29, 2025. Space agencies are preparing for it like it's a test, because what happens then may determine whether 3 Atlas is a comet, a probe, or something else.